It's about our ability to communicate ideas uh, honestly with each other without algorithmic manipulation, being able to say what we think is right, being able to challenge the system, being able to communicate with other people without thinking that the government is actually reading all of our texts and all of those things. And Russell Brand was on Bill Maher's podcast, which debuted last night, and they talked about free speech, they talked about Rumble, and this Dave Rubin guy, so I had to throw this in. What is Rumble now? I'm so, I'm like so a, media um, stupid. It's, a, uh, it's a, essentially a competitor to YouTube, which has made its raison d'etre non-censorship that has been taken up initially by a lot of right, uh, like you'd have to say, right-wing uh, voices, uh, but is doesn't have any skin in the game with regard to like well, the kind of content that is put out, except for that you continue to own your content and you know you can say what you want. You can talk about what you want. And like for me, like freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of speech to right. sort of condemn and criticize people. It means freedom of speech no, to I'm, attack establishment and look for ways to bring people together. Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin's on there. Yeah, I know Dave's been on. It's not his company though, right? But it Dave has... owned, I believe, Locals, which is the sort of membership okay. aspect of Rumble, which yeah, is essentially been, like YouTube. He's been here. I love, love, I love him. Yeah, he's a great guy. And, yeah, and we don't agree politically. No. But, I, but we laugh about it. It's, it's, it's yeah. And the, here's the problem with where we are media-wise, as it, especially free speech. You know, as comics, we adore free speech. I, it's, it's my lifeblood. I couldn't be, yeah. I'm so grateful to the people who came before me who were martyrs for free speech. You know, there was no doubt in my mind who the champions of free speech were and, and also the threat, and the threat was all on the right, yeah. and the champions were all on the left. And that's not how I feel now. So when people say like, oh, why are you harder on the left? Well, that's one of the big reasons. I just mentioned Lenny Bruce, so I'm gonna say that that's a sign from the universe. And by the way, Dave Rubin's always trying to convince me about the universe, which I find amusing. But, um, I'm gonna pre pretend there's such a thing as the universe <laughs> me messages and say that uh, Lenny Bruce, you know, he forgot to like be an entertainer because yeah. he was so passionate. Right. I don't want that to happen to you. I don't okay. think it will. It never has. You proved that like, not just here, but on real time today, it was just like, you know, you bring it, man. And just, uh, that's, you know, I don't know why I'm <laughs> anointing myself as the person to give you advice you probably Thank don't you. need. No, but I, what if, instead of trying to convert Bill Maher anymore on which way he should vote, I, I've made my point. I think you guys get my point and hopefully Bill will come around. I'm, I'm sort of losing hope to a certain degree and Bill, I appreciate you and I, I thank you for the kind words. What if really, because as he said, Dave Rubin's always trying to get me to believe in the universe. What if my real goal now with Bill Maher should be that he will one day do a, a PragerU video, Why I Left Atheism. Maybe that will be the Dave Rubin as we roll into Passover and Easter. Maybe that's the Dave Rubin shift because there are things happening in the universe and we are connected in ways that we cannot fully understand and you end up as a believer whether you believe it or not. But that's a whole other topic for a whole other show. Yeah.